The opposition congresswoman he just referred to, Maria Karina Machado, has been in Peru, where she was invited to give her account of the situation in Venezuela at various seminars. CCTV's Dan Collins spoke to her in Lima. The Venezuelan opposition leader, Maria Corina Machado, surrounded by supporters. But this is not Caracas, it's the Peruvian capital, Lima, where Machado had a captive audience. She spoke at seminars and Peru's Congress. Meanwhile, in Venezuela, National Assembly President Diosdado Cabello announced she would be dismissed for speaking at the Organization of American States at Panama's invitation. Speaking exclusively to CCTV, she said he couldn't do that. He, he has no right to dismiss me. I am a member of the parliament and I will be as long as my fellow citizens want that I represent them. So when I come back to Venezuela, when I go back to Venezuela, I will keep on doing my work in the parliament and in the streets. The Venezuelan government has said that the protests are being led by the rich and by fascist groups. How do you respond to those allegations? This protest is different from any other movement we've seen before in many ways. One of them is that it's not a movement that's taking part only in some region or in some cities. This is taking place in small towns and cities throughout the country, throughout the, our country. In many of these protests, you, you see people that come from very poor areas. But not everyone in Peru agrees with Machado. These Peruvian Communist Party members are watching a documentary about Hugo Chavez. Its co-writer, Mark Weisbrot, has just arrived from a fact-finding trip in Venezuela. The vast majority are against the protests, okay? Who's supporting the protests? It's the people least affected by the shortages. It's the people least affected by anything that's wrong with the economy. Beyond its borders, the situation in Venezuela continues to polarize opinions. And little more than a year after his death, the figure of Hugo Chavez remains as imposing and divisive as ever. As the violence and polarization continues, there's no sign of a compromise in the divided country he left behind. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.